Okay, so as soon as you arrive at the camp, you realize that it's a complete different atmosphere. There's people running, playing games, talking to other people that they don't even know yet, really. So as soon as everybody gets to the campsite, we all circle up and then we get introduced with the rules of the camp. And after that we get put into groups and, and then we do a group activity the, with the groups that you were just put in and you will be assigned a crew leader which you will grow a strong bond with throughout the week. So there is a variety of meals that we cook on hand and we could have sandwich is the next day we could have burritos the next. We will be split into two groups, boys and girls, and what we did last time is we kind of just created like a community. We weren't as spread out because there were a couple of people that were uneasy about sleeping in a tent for the first time. So the work can be hard. So like if you feel like you are not comfortable with the tool that you are using, then you let somebody know and then somebody else can use that tool and you can find something that can accommodate you better. Once you have breakfast at the camp, we will normally go to the ranger station where we'll have a stretch circle and a safety talk about like what could be hazardous in the vicinity that we are using. So my favorite job was working in the sea slack. Even though it is very hot out there and there is no shade, there is nothing more satisfying than forming a very large scotch burn right out of the So every night we will build a campfire and then we will discuss one of the topics off of Camp Lead. So there are four letters in Camp Lead. Leadership, Empowerment, Advocacy, and then Development. So each day we'll go through those one at a time. So if I could say one thing to you guys about having a success, a very successful time at Camp Lead. Have an open mind and don't be afraid of breaking that comfort zone wall. Just have a good time with it, do some work, and it'll be a very fun time.